and welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth. Hope everyone is doing well today. Today we continue our journey through the Gospel of Matthew and we move on to chapter 1, verse 21. You know, yesterday we read in verse 20 that Joshua had a dream. An angel came to him in a dream and said, you know, it's okay to it's okay to marry Mary. The child in her womb is from the Holy Spirit. This is just a continuation of that. And in verse 21, Matthew writes, She will bear a son. You are to name him Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. So just a couple notes on this. The name Jesus, um, for those that don't know, the old, the New Testament was originally written in Greek, in Koine Greek. And the name Jesus in the New Testament is actually the same as Joseph. Now this, Matthew's utilizing a theological term called typology. Just as Joseph saved the Israelites from their enemies in the book of Joshua in the Old Testament, Jesus is coming to save his people here. But not temporarily like Joseph did with the enemies. But he's coming to save people from their sin. Not in their sin, but to bring them out of their sin into everlasting life. I have a very, very important note. So who's his people? You see, we see in the beginning of chapter 1, on the first episode of this podcast, we went through the genealogy of Jesus. This is kind of how this ties together a little bit. We see... We see adulterers, murderers, Gentiles, Israelites. You see, his people aren't just... The Israelites. This is telling us that Jesus is coming... To save everyone from their sins. Those who will put their faith in him. So I hope this draws it a little bit closer. So it's kind of how. So how how can we apply this to our life? Well, Jesus came to forgive you and I of our sin. Are we letting him do it? You see, a lot of times we go through life and we we do bad things. I mean, Lord knows I have. We ask people for forgiveness. We ask God for forgiveness. We have issue forgiving ourselves. Is there something that you did in the past that you're holding on to that you have been forgiven for, but you're letting it fester in your heart and making you get depressed and anxious and everything else? Jesus came to forgive you of that. So those, those are just my thoughts on verse 21. I hope it's been helpful to see that link between the Old and New Testaments again. It's a very common theme in the Gospel of Matthew. God bless you guys. Have a great day today.